England and Australia playing for the Cook Cup. You don't really need to say much more than that, do you? We just know we're going to have some fun this evening. An old rivalry reheated. Time for one last look at the teams. Eddie Jones forced into more COVID-induced changes this week. First, Joe Marler testing positive, then Ellis Genge. So, sale prop Bevan Rod starting on his debut. Maro Toje's 50th, as we've said, Owen Farrell's 100th. Farrell next to Marcus Smith, who starts today. Nobody, nobody saw Manu Tuolangi on the wing coming. Australia have front row issues of their own as well. They've got injuries to a couple of tight heads, which means that James Slipper, who has played over 100 tests as a loose head, is on the other side here. Angus Bell, the Waratah, just 21, is on the loose head side. And the Wallabies with four survivors in this 15 from the World Cup match in Japan. Arnold, Rodder, Hooper and Curtly Beale, who's all set for his first test start since that quarter-final a couple of years ago. On the benches, mentions for the debutants, Rafi Quirk and Ollie Hoskins in a flood of tears at the end of Advance Australia Fair, both of them ahead of the biggest couple of hours of their rugby lives. Rob Valentini with all of his hair over the ball to make sure that it's Australia possession. Here goes Bell, only a second test start, but his 13th as a replacement, so he's hardly a greenhorn. And here is White. Looking forward to ripping into England, he said this week. Ooh, and, and England changing lines, blocking illegally, and a, a wallaby penalty. James O'Connor, the prodigal son, 31 now, and back in green and gold. And back scoring points. Five minutes played. Australia lead, England nil, Australia three. Free kick from the scrum taken quickly by Youngs and Farrell to Alangi offered himself instead. It's Smith. First significant run from him, curving round that gold wall. Laws doesn't hold on to it long, instead employs Underhill. Farrell at first receiver and a first chug for Itoje. Farrell, Smith outside him and Stewart to Alangi to his left. Stewart on his own. This feels like the start of a very, very long test career for Freddie Stewart. This is the ball. It's a key little dent that Hooper stops him, but all the Australians are then on the back foot. They're retreating. And Smith just takes his time. One of those players that seems slightly more relaxed than others, even at this level. Toje, George always trundling through. He's got Smith up in support. No hands. He lays it back, but the ball was free. And uh, Australia and Folau Fainga well within their rights to come through. Demi George flying through. Gets tackled, he's on the way down. Oh, look at that step, it's a beauty. He's in trouble. Now, what about this? It's a line break, it's high speed. Okay, the player changes his direction, but you stay up high, so you've, you're, you, you've done something wrong. Direct contact to head, we don't believe it's a high level of danger because you don't go forward, you hold, it, hold your, uh, your own, therefore it's just a yellow card. Just make sure the doctors with that player needs to go for a HIA. My goodness, that's a huge penalty count. So early in the game, already into double figures, Johnny Hill. And England's low loaders doing what they can, but so too Australia. It's a very good defence up to the point that John! Nick White! Nick White's just done a Courtney. What a fantastic piece of defence. I really hope the replay doesn't show us that it was an accident. 
I really hope it was as clever as it looked. Jamie George, fantastic work off the back. He's over. He's done Nick White. That is super, super. What is it about that corner of Twickenham that leads to defensive excellence against the odds? Courtney Laws a week ago, Nick White this evening. Two minutes to half time. Australia, a man down, but opportunity to press. Uh, with the penalty, Ekitao took it up, England were offside. Well, the yellow card is coming to a close, Tom Wright about to rejoin us. If this goes over, the Wallabies will have won the 10 minutes while he was in the bin. O'Connor again, England 16, Australia 12. And it's 15 against 15 again. O'Connor back at 10 for the Wallabies. Taken by Slade elegantly. Held on to by Hooper, who uh, perhaps not surprisingly led Australia's tackle count in that first half. Smith and now Bevan Rod. Got to stay on your feet. Keep your eyes on Maru Itoji. Bevan Rod carries. Itoji just has to stay on his feet, or at least look like he's going to, but it's straight to the deck. striking it well England 60 James O'Connor and Australia 50 fire a toje Australia's defense has um, worked so hard in this match up to this point Ooh, and a, a toje given a free lift Curry that was high Liotta How much care does Angus Bell show here, bringing him back down? He brings him over the horizontal, lets him go, but lands on his arm. No, 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 we have, we, we have to get serious with these dangerous tackles, and that was a dangerous tackle. Hundred test this evening for the England captain, Owen Farrell. A familiar pattern to this contest so far. 14th penalty in a row for Owen Farrell and England's stretch ahead again, 1950. Owen Farrell hobbles off, maybe some concern with the world champions in town here in a week's time. Max Malin's taking his place. Isn't that a lovely sight? Wonderful. Stephen was a bit surprised it wasn't raining when he turned up this morning. It always seemed to whenever he played here, certainly. It's a beautiful stadium with this noise, isn't it? Yeah. Can Australia finish it in full cry? Beal and Andrew Calloway. Ticking down the seconds. Clipped away by Lolaseo. Taisami, who's still with us. So to Wikitao, all oh, that is nice. Time for one last moment of magic from Lenny Ikatao, maybe. Latu, stolen. And England can run away with it. And here goes Simmons. And Simmons gets Blamaya, and he's got to score. England's try machine, Jamie Blamaya, becomes the first England forward to score in four tests in a row. It's extraordinary, and England end this match with a full-throated roar. Simmons in the right place at the right time, fresh off the bench, explosive, rapid, Blamaya limping a bit, gets a head start on Simmons because he knows he'll overtake him. What a lovely moment for a young player, running it in from all of 125 yards at Twickenham. Lovely finish for England.
What of Smith's conversion into the lights, down again between the posts. And an Australian guides England to another win against Australia. He still hasn't lost to the motherland in charge of England, Eddie Jones. And Australia still haven't beaten them since that famous World Cup win here six years ago. England have won it, eight now from eight against the green and gold by 32 points to 15.